have a double martini. Well, here he is, boys and girls. I know the advertising department has seen a little bit of trouble, but I think I found the man that is going to put worldwide wickets back on top. Mr. Benjamin Burton, Daniel Ovington. Thanks, boys and girls. I just want to say that I'm proud to be joining the Worldwide Wicket family. I don't know much about wickets, but I do know about advertising. My theory of advertising can be summed up in one sentence. Shove it down your throats with a soft sound. Good sound thinking. And I'd like to say that... Benjamin Burton, Daniel Ovington. What the hell kind of name is that? But I'd like to say that... Hey, bud. You call this a double martini? There's only one olive in it. And I'd like to say... Bud. JB says to take the cargo home. She does not seem to be very well. I'm feeling sorry. You feel terrible. Hey, Kinchy, let's take it. Oh, I'm already dancing with Rosemary. Everybody, dance! Now, Thank mm -hmm. you. 
someday, someday. Yes, who? Mr. Bigley. No, it's me. Oh, hi, Hetty. I was supposed to meet Mr. Bigley here. Mr. Bigley, he's not coming. Somebody gave you a bunch of him. No, I should have known it wasn't real. Well, I think I'll... What's your hurry? Well, I think I should get back to the party. Of course, I'm down here. Uh, I think I'd better. You're anxious to get back to that Rosemary, huh? Are you stuck on her? Rosemary? Oh, she and I are just good friends. Oh, that's very sensible. An overcoming young chap like you should be tied down. I've been watching you, Buster. You're good in places. Yeah, Venezuela. Look, Penny. What did James die? Frankly, I'd rather you didn't. Oh, come on, let's try it. Uh-uh. You'd better finish. If you don't kiss me, I'll tell Davey you did. <clears throat> okay, just once. <laughs> Imagine 
and it, we kiss. What a crescendo! Ideas. 
Tell us something, Finch. Oh, well, I haven't had time. Come on, boy, what are those ideas? Well, well sir, I... Put up or shut up, son. The, the, the thing is... Get on the ball and you'll be out here like a shot. Uh, but, sir, I'd like to be able to give you a clear-cut campaign. Say, JB, the plan's board meeting for the day after tomorrow. Finch here can tell us all of his ideas then. Fine. Finch, you have 48 hours to create an advertising presentation. And you better get on that, because you are now vice president in full charge of advertising. And frankly, up until now, I am rather, rather dissatisfied with your work. Oh, I don't care what happens. I'm a vice president. Vice President Finch. Hello. Give me the stationery shop downstairs. This is Mr. Finch. Remember those cards I spoke to you about last week? Go ahead and print them right away. Now let's... Oh! Girls, you can come out now! Thank you, Rosemary. Rosemary, I've got a surprise for you. I'm Vice President. Congratulations! Can I be your secretary? Oh, gee, I'd love that, Eddie, but... Rosemary's going to be my secretary. I'll go back to the steno pool. Guess I'll wait for that visit until after he's married. Rosemary? I'm going to be your secretary. Sure. You were Mr. Ovington's secretary, and now I've taken over his whole department. What makes you think I'd want to be your secretary? I'd rather die. Rosemary, you must. You have to. I'm vice president in charge of advertising now. You know what a tough job that is. Rosemary, I need you. Well, in that case, all right, I'll be your secretary. Wonderful. Now, let's get to work. Just like that? Haven't you forgotten something? Oh, yeah. Finch, Hello. Aren't you going to kiss me? Kiss you? I can't. Why not? You're my secretary. Now, wait a minute, Rosemary. Oh. Hello. Name Major? Wait a minute, Rosemary? Hello, name painter? This is Mr. Finch. I'd like my name on my door and all gold leaf. Ah! J. Pierpont Finch. 